Welcome to Addicted to News. With GDC coming towards a close, we start to look at E3 as the news ramps up. Our first story brings us some Half-Life details. The HTC Vive virtual reality headset that is being developed in conjunction with Valve is said to be the platform for the next Half-Life game. But HTC chairwoman Cher Wang wouldn't say whether this was a new entry in the Half-Life series or a remake of the original. Looking into it further, everything still points to a new game of some sort because if it was a remake, they wouldn't be so secretive of it. The next story of the video is about the new usage rights for Unreal Engine 4. Instead of requiring users to pay $19 a month to use the engine, the engine will now be free to everyone. In exchange, they request 5% of the game's revenue after the first $3,000 is generated each financial quarter. The free download will also grant you access to the entire Unreal Engine toolset so you are not limited in any way. For current subscribers, you will receive a pro-rated refund for your most recent payment, and anyone who has ever paid for a subscription will receive $30 to be spent in the Unreal Engine Marketplace. For the final story of the day, a Fast and the Furious add-on has been announced for Forza Horizon 2. It can be purchased as an expansion or as a standalone game without a copy of Forza. In the game as well as in the movie Furious 7, you will be sourcing cars for Tej Parker as well as the rapper Ludacris. You will also be playing as many of the main characters including Vin Diesel and you will get to drive their iconic cars from the movie franchise's long history. The expansion is out now and will run you $10. That's it for today's video and thanks for watching. For updates when future videos release, make sure to subscribe to the channel and as always, never stop gaming.